of choice. That's right. Parents lining up this morning to get their kids a spot at Sunny Slope High School. And if you've seen this before, uh, yeah, you have, because yeah. this is nothing new. The school has seen lines like this for years. Teen 12's Matt Uris is live outside Sunny Slope right now. Matt, we're hearing some people have been camping out there since the weekend. Come on. Yeah, that's right, guys. Emma, exactly. I've been told around Saturday evening about 8 o'clock. I'll give a quick little anecdote, and then we'll talk to this family live in just a moment. But listen to this. A family says they're going to bed Saturday evening. Their 13, 14-year-old son gets text that his buddies and their families are starting to show up. They grab their camping gear, jump out of bed, and come right here to Sunny Slope High. Dozens and dozens of families are lined up here. You can see the tents all along the way. We've got heaters of different sorts going. Behind me, there's actually a fire. Most of the media is out here. Last year, I'm told by a family that 81 students were let in. This is all a product of school choice and parents wanting to get their kids a better opportunity at a better education. Sunny Slope High is rated very, very high for the area, not only in Arizona, but throughout the country. I'm going to ask our photographer to pan down this way, get a little look at the other media and the dozens of tents that are lined up, just to give you a little bit of the, the feel. And even for early this morning, the energy level is high. I'm told the farther back you go on the line, people say they can feel the anxiety building. If you're about where I am now, they believe there's a pretty good chance that their son or daughter is going to uh, get into this good school. I'm joined now by Sarah. We were chatting earlier. Yeah. I just shared a little bit about your, of your story of grabbing that camping gear yeah. and getting out here with your son, Luke, as quick as you could. Yeah. What's the energy? How are you feeling? Well, I like what you just said. I, I'm going to hold on to that. I really hope that we have a good chance. We're number 30, so I think there's like 100 kids in line here, and, or just, just under, and we're excited. I mean, we were planning to come and stand in line. We weren't planning to stay two nights. Uh, in our tents, um, but you know, it's it's been an adventure. Usually when camping in this area, you get mountains and dirt roads, not quite the same scenery yeah. here. There's no hiking happening, so. I'm told everyone's been very friendly though and orderly. Uh-huh, uh -huh. we're, we're kind of taking turns, get doing coffee runs, and uh, we ordered pizza and they delivered last night, it was fun. So yeah, it, it's definitely a memory and we're hoping that um, a memory with a purpose, like he'll get into a good school, we'll feel great about, you know, launching him into his life, and it's a big step. Luke, your mom's been talking about you. we got to get you on TV real quick. Are you excited about the opportunity to come to school here? Yeah. How come, ma'am? Um, it's just a really good school, and a lot, pretty much my whole friend group's going, so it would just make, like, high school so much easier if I had my friends with me. Good luck, man. Thank you. I'll talk to you again in just a bit. Thank you. Guys, I'll go ahead and throw it back to you in the studio. I do want to share one last thing. There's actually a couple of RVs parked out behind me as our photographer pans, and we head back your way to that uh, warm studio oh at 12 News, Paul and Emma. I this mean, seems so unnecessary. I don't understand why people would have to wait out for, for two nights I, to get into a school they want to get into. I agree. That is wild. All right.